Today we will be talking about how to do Tuluk Awolo. Awolo is the process in which comes after F2L or the first two layers. Awolo stands for orientation of the last layer and what it does is it makes it so the top layer of the cube is entirely solved. The first case is when we have the dot. Now you can either follow the instructions at the top of the video or you can just follow what my hands do. And now once you have finished that you should have a cross which is the product or the solution that you want out of this solve. The next one is when you have this kind of clock um, type shape and basically all you want to do is flip it down so these two face that way and that way and then you want to go like this and then you should have a cross. The next one we're going to be looking at is when you have a line now you just want to face it like this and again I will have the instructions at the top of the video but if you don't know how to read that just follow what my hands do and then finally you should have a cross we will now talk about all the cross solutions that you have to worry about so the first one is when you have it on either side like this and what you want to do is you want to flip the cube so you have your so your top is now your side and you want to now I'll put the instructions at the top of the video but again if you don't know how to read that just follow my steps and it goes like this and then that should solve the top the next one is when you have this kind of arrow that points both ways and you have both of them facing that way now it doesn't matter what they're at right now but you want to make sure that this one faces that way and this one faces that way and then you want to do this algorithm now I will have the instructions at the top but again um, you can just follow me and they'll be like this for every example and there you have it there's your next one the final one is when you have this again, but instead of the two other corners facing outward, outwards, they will face inwards. Now you want to hold this at the front, and then what you want to do is this. Then that should solve the top for you. The next case we're talking about is another plus sign and then both of these corners are facing outwards. Now there are many ways to do this type, but my favorite way to do it goes like this. And that should solve the top layer for you. The next case we're going to do is the same plus, but instead of both of the corners facing outwards, one is going to be facing outwards and the others are going to be facing the opposite direction. So this this case where it goes these two are facing the left way and then this one's facing forwards and this one's facing backwards. All you want to do for this one is um, the instruction will be on the top of the video and then um, if you don't know how to read that just follow my, my steps. It's this. And then that should solve the top layer for you with that case. The next case is the fish. Now, a lot of you know how to do the fish. It's usually the first OLO algorithm everyone learns when they're doing CFOP. And basically, all you have to do for this one is this. And then that should solve the top layer for you. The next one is another fish case, but instead of when you face it like this and that doesn't happen, and like you can't see that, um, people usually just mirror the same algorithm. But what I do 
is face, so the point is going that way, and then you have this facing you, which is how you know that you're in the right, that you know the cube's facing the right way, then you will go like this. And then that should solve the top layer for you. Now that you know how to do two look OLO, I will now teach you two look PLO, which only has around four to six algorithms, depending how far you want to learn it, and isn't hard to learn at all. Now, the first case we will look at is when you have um, this kind of pattern where um, two of the edges are the same and then one isn't. Now, it doesn't matter about any of the other sides, it just matters if you have this, and I will put the algorithm at the top of the video, but if you don't know how to read that, just follow my instruct um, my steps, sorry. And that should show you this part of the step. The second case we are looking at is when none of them have that pattern and when we have this case you can face it any way you want and all you have to do is this algorithm. And then that should solve um, this and should give you these patterns. We will now look at the four cases you can get after solving with those two algorithms. The first one is this one, where this um, piece is supposed to be here, this piece is supposed to be here, and this piece is supposed to be all the way over here. Now, you wanna flip this cube so it's on your side so you can see the one sole face on your left, and then all you wanna do is this algorithm. and then that should solve the cube. The next um, algorithm that we will learn is when we wanna put this edge into here, and this edge into here, and this edge into here. So, and this side's already solved. So we wanna put the solve side in the back and we wanna do this algorithm. And then that should also solve your cube. Funny enough, that last algorithm was a UB perm, which is which is also the name of this channel, UB cubing. But anyway, let's take a look at when all the edges are adjacent to their color. So, when we have green in the blue, blue in the green, orange in the red, and red in the orange, this is the algorithm we wanna do. and then that would solve the cube. The last two algorithms you have to be really careful to do, but this first one is when you wanna swap this one to there and this one to there, and then the same with this, this one to here and this one to here. Now, all you have to do is this algorithm. And that would solve the cube. See what I mean by these algorithms are nearly the exact same? They're just opposite. So this one, this time, this algorithm, you wanna put this one here, this one here, and then this one here, and this one here. Now, all you wanna do is the exact same algorithm, but in the opposite order. So now, the algorithm is this. And then that should solve your cube. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, smash the like button, subscribe, share this video, it would help me out a ton, it's free, and um, doesn't cost you anything. But uh, tell me what videos you wanna see next, I will do a video about how to do cross and how to do F2L soon, in the near future. Thanks for watching, bye.